after the opposition offensive, opposition which was armed by Russia with tanks. So this opposition had been fed by the Kremlin against Jokhar Dudayev. The Kremlin had armed it. Of course, of course, they were Kremlin agents and and they attacked with tanks, tank convoys. And in those in those tanks there were Russian tankmen, Russian warriors. So this opposition went behind those tanks armed with machine guns and they all had been had been bought by Russia. So just as they create labels about Ukraine, they did the same thing in regard to Jokhar Dudayev. Yes, of course, they presented him as a dictator who clings to power. And they made all sorts of gossip that Jokhar is allegedly a Jew and that he was sent by the FSB. All kinds of rumors, gossip and dirt. The Russian army, it had already, it had been defeated, the Russian army. And, and Russian conscripts, boys, were trying to hide all over Russia. And they fought in trenches, ridiculous and dirty. But the Chechen warriors, they, they would fight for two days, and then they would rest in surrounding villages. Jokhar said, if we don't hold the front lines, then we, we will be considered criminals. We must hold the front lines. He said that those documents that he had been sending to The Hague weapons that are prohibited by the Geneva Protocol, like cluster bombs and toxic substances. And no matter how many documents he would send, there was no answer. And they, they're just afraid to prosecute the Russian government for its crimes in Chechnya. And then they set up filtration camps, death camps to destroy the civilian population. Slava Ukraini!